Hi everyone, this is Neetu Sugandh. In this lesson, we'll be discussing how you can handle difficult situations in day-to-day -day life using the right statements. If you like my videos and lessons, you can follow me on this link and do rate, review, recommend and share. Now, what do we mean by difficult situations? By difficult situations, I mean situations in which it gets difficult to respond with ease, whether it's uh, your daily life or whether it's business communication. I learned a more positive way to look at it. I call it situations in which you can touch people's life if you respond appropriately. Now, why I'm saying this is because if you're able to handle a difficult situation correctly, you'll be able to build a stronger relationship with the other person. There may be people who would remember you throughout their life. If you're able to resolve something with ease, using the right language, using the right words and sentences. If you stay in touch, you will probably laugh at the difficult situation that you resolve with ease later on in life. Now, there are three skills that are very helpful in handling difficult situations. It's listening, acknowledging and empathizing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a difficult situation and then use these skills to handle that. Uh, and also, of course, using the right statements. So situation one, when someone is upset with you, what do you do? The best way to calm someone down is by giving up your ego then listening and acknowledging. Some responses that would help if it's your fault or if you're at fault are, I'm sorry, I apologize for my behavior. I understand what you're saying. I will not repeat it. It's okay to use these statements. It would let the other person know that you're genuinely sorry and it would help them calm down. Some responses that would help if you're not at fault, let's say it's not your fault, you can say, I understand what you're saying. However, please give me a chance to explain. I wasn't able to inform you earlier because... So you're giving a reason. I could have called you. However, I was genuinely busy. Now, these uh, particular statements would let the other person know that you're trying to give an answer. And it's very helpful, especially in a, in a fight between a husband or a wife or maybe a girlfriend or a boyfriend and even if a boss and an employee. Apologizing does not make you small. Remember, it's a great way to calm someone down. In addition, use a polite tone. Do not get agitated like the other person as that would just make the situation worse. So if someone's shouting or fighting, you make sure your tone is calm. That would help calm down the other person. Situation two, when you're upset with someone, now when you are upset with someone, it becomes very difficult to find polite words. I notice people, you know, fighting, shouting or ignoring the other person completely. So some statements or questions that would help you begin the conversation are, so instead of shouting, you could say, I want to speak with you about something. Do you have some time to spare? We need to talk. Now, depending on who the person is and what the situation is, you can use such statements. Avoid raising your voice or sound insulting. Be direct and state facts that made you feel bad. It's okay to feel bad, but just talk about it. Situation three, when someone has suffered a loss. It's very difficult at times to respond to someone who suffered a loss. A loss. I've seen many people, they go quiet when you tell them, oh, I'm facing this situation. For example, if someone tells you that a closed one has passed away or if they've lost their credit card, in such a situation, it becomes important to empathize with the other person. And many, many people struggle with that. So how would you respond? You can say, I'm sorry to hear this. I'm sorry to hear about your loss. So as soon as somebody mentions a loss to you, it's important that you acknowledge that. And these are the statements you can use. I understand why you're upset. If I were you, I'd feel the same way. I can imagine what you're going through. It must be really tough for you. If you make these statements, uh, the other person will feel that you are concerned. And that is what's going to make you more approachable and more likable as a person. Situation four, when someone insults you. Now, if someone insults you, you should tell them that what they're doing is not right. You shouldn't be quiet about it. You could just politely tell them. Some responses that would help you begin the conversation are, I'd appreciate if you calm down. Let's discuss this more peacefully. Let's handle the issue without being rude. Now, let me do a scenario check here. If someone is your friend, you can use these statements. But the responses are only applicable for people you know or interact with in an informal way. In a customer service scenario, when you're talking to a customer, try and apologize to the customer if they go through any inconvenience. So 
remember when it's a client or a customer then avoid using these uh, then you could probably just apologize because they're not really shouting at you they're shouting at the situation so don't take it personally because they don't personally hate you they're just upset because something's gone wrong so in that case just apologize for the inconvenience Situation five: When someone gets too personal, it's very awkward to respond when someone asks you questions that are too personal. The feeling is weird and uncomfortable. You're not obligated to answer personal questions unless you're comfortable sharing that information. So don't be scared to tell the other person not to get personal. Some responses that would help you avoid those questions and stop the person from asking more questions would be, "I'm sorry, however, I don't like sharing personal information." So you're being direct. Just tell them I'm sorry and use a polite tone. I'd appreciate if you don't ask me such questions because there are some people who would go on asking about personal questions, okay, your age, your boyfriend, your marital status. If you're not comfortable talking about it, just tell them politely. I feel uncomfortable sharing personal information unless I know someone very well. So these are good statements to let other let other people know that you're not comfortable about it. Keep your tone polite so that the other person does not feel insulted. Situation six: When you have to say no, I had even mentioned this in the overview uh, lesson that do not say a direct no, especially at your workplace. So you know sometimes it can offend people. Uh, how do you say it then? Instead of that, you can say, "I'm sorry." However, I wish I could, but unfortunately, it won't be possible for me to attend the meeting or to come with you or to or to come for lunch. I'm afraid I will not be able to. So these are good statements to begin saying a no instead of directly saying no, no, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna come. <laughs> that doesn't work in a professional environment. Situation seven: When you have a different point of view, some people find it very uncomfortable sh to share their thoughts when there's a difference in opinion. Remember, it's not a conflict or a war; it's just a difference in opinion, and you should share it. So if you have a point that you feel is valid, do not keep it to yourself. Share it, especially in a professional environment. Otherwise, how would you grow or how would you excel? So here are some statements that would help you share your thoughts without sounding rude. You could say, "I think." So if someone's in a meeting, he's made a point. You can say, "I think," and then continue with your point. Or you could say, "My opinion differs a bit," and then talk about what what's the difference. I experienced it in a different way. So if someone's saying that you know it, this was my experience, you can say, I, "I experienced it in a different way." There's nothing wrong with it. I'd love to agree. However, my experience makes me have a different opinion, and then you can talk about your experience. So these are some good statements to share when there's a difference in opinion. Just make sure you're polite and do not get into an argument. Having a different opinion is not bad. However, what's important is how you share it with other people. And especially when you're working, there are many, many people who get offended if you don't agree to them. So it's better to use the right words and the right statement so that it does not offend them, and at the same time, makes you put your point across. Also, some grammar check. Avoid using words such as "but," "no," "not" as much as you can whenever you're in a difficult situation. These words are very strong and may make you sound rude, especially on emails or in written communication. Instead, use words like "however," "may not," "unfortunately." These words would help you sound a little more polite. So, on this note, I would say just make sure you're expressive. You Don't keep quiet in difficult situations. It's not always important to talk. There are times you may have to stay quiet, but when you do talk, use a polite tone. Do not insult people and do not get insulted at the same time. It's very important to have a smooth conversation and a two-way communication. Enjoy using these techniques and have a great, great day. Bye bye.